Cholera outbreak right now is Nyalenda 8. Tangulia na wale wanakalia mtihani mwaka huu form 4, fuatiwa na form 3, form 2, form 1. Nataka um, 100 million. The Hot 96 News Now with Herman Kamareki. A very good afternoon. Kisumu County has now recorded two fatalities following the cholera outbreak this week. Stakeholders have started putting in place strategies to curb the spread of the disease that has left seven others admitted. According to the health CEC, Dr. Gregory Genda, the first of victims in Kisumu is from Kisumu East, while the other comes from a neighboring county. Speaking in Kisumu, the CEC has called on communities around Kisumu to seek immediate health care in case of symptoms. The, the epicenters of the of the cholera outbreak right now is Nyalenda A. Particularly, Nyalenda A has the highest number of cases followed by Nyalenda B, uh, which is in both in Kisumu East and uh, Kisumu Central. Right now, what we have done is we have activated the emergency operations center, and there is a team of experts which meets every day to review number of cases, number of admissions, and the interventions which we are taking. We know that this is a fever orally transmitted, and it's matters of hygiene and uh, waste disposal and safe water that we are now dealing with. For the beginning, we have now provided free, clean, safe water using a water bowser from Kiwasco to Nyalenda A, which is being coordinated by our community health uh, assistants. And now to Kakamega, where Mukumo Girls High School is set to reopen on the 2nd of May this year, but in phases. This is according to a committee recommendation from Drola to oversee the implementation of the recommendations for improved sanitation to guarantee the safety of our students. The committee, chaired by Western Regional Commissioner Irungo Masharia, agreed that form for students will open first on 2nd before the other students follow. <laughs> Fuatiwa na form 3, form 2, form 1 Kisha wakija hapa tutakuja tuangalie Tuwane aliawe afya kwa hivyo tunaeza wapima Tuwane kama wako sawa kiafya Kabla tuwaingie kwa shure tuwaze kuwasomesha Sabu hatutaki wafike huku tena tena waze kuugua Bati ya muhimu kabisa Tungawaomba tu hata wale viongozi wetu Viongozi wa siyasa na wengine Waese kushika mkono Principal ambaye tumweka hapa na hali mashauri ya shure The board and the, the principal the committee recommends mandatory testing through a team of doctors that will be on the ground before they settle down. Our students will also undergo both a group and individual counseling and monitoring of their health status. So tumepanga kama hiko meti, tumesema tutapanga vikao ya kuja kushauri na hitwa counseling ya kwalimu. Counseling pia ifanywe kwa wafanyikazi wengine wa shure ambayo wawatisiwa kusomesha. Tumepanga pia kutakuwa na mikutano ya wazazi kabla tufungue shure. Tukuje tuongee nao. Tuwaonyeshe ni mikakati gani tumeweka kuhakisha kwamba hiyo jambo alitu tendeki tena. Tuwaonyeshe vile tumefanya kwa kutayarisha kwamba watoto wao waweze kufungua shure. Kwa hivyo tumepanga mkutano wa wazazi. Mependekeza tukutane tarehe 29 mwezu huu. To a different story, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa has called on county governments to focus on service delivery to Kenyans. Gashagwa urged the deputy governors to uphold the attendance of devolution and ensure the smooth delivery of all devolved sub functions. Rather, speaking after officially opening the deputy governor's consultative meeting in Mombasa, the DP said the county monies will be dispersed soon. The former Madira member of parliament has also emphasized that the government will not borrow to pay salaries. We have had challenges because the president and his government have made a conscious decision that it is not sustainable and it is not prudent to borrow money from the banks at 14 percent to pay salaries. We have agreed as a government that the only way to restore the economy of this country to where President White about can. Families and friends of seven out of the 11 people who perished in the accident converged to offer prayers for the departed souls. The body of Reverend Felix Odiambo, his son aged three years, and his nephew were among the seven bodies that were brought to the stadium for the memorial service that was tearful. 
And now, still on um, Nyanza region, murder case against a former Migori governor, Okoto Bado, Michael Ayamo, and Kaspar Lobero will be heard on between 17th and 21st of July this year. The other dates for, for this hearing are set for 28th, 20, 24th, or 28th of this year as well. Justice Cecilia Gidua, who was uh, transferred to Muranga Station, will continue hearing the murder case against the three. The judge has urged the parties to cooperate with the court so as to conclude the matter. And now, a new winner in town, 500,000 Kenya shillings after just taking on Shabiki Kaende jackpot. On the Shabiki Kaende jackpot, Bantas players a bet at 50 Kenya shillings, each predicting 13 games, either online or using USD code. Only six trials made Eric Kemboi half millionaire. Our very own reporter, Dama Mudhoi, with the details. Edward Kemboi from Baringo County is the latest winner of the Shabiki Kaende jackpot. Kemboi won 500,000 shillings after spending only 300 shillings on his tickets, as he predicted 11 games out of 13. Expressing his joy after receiving the 500,000 voucher, Kemboi stated that it was unbelievable for him to get the news on his big win. He explains how he will spend the money. <laughs> The Shabiki.com representative Anthony Mwaki has expressed his joy over the advancement of the Shabiki Kande jackpot over the years. He has urged Kenyans to participate, saying everyone has an opportunity to play and win when they get the highest correct prediction of the 13 matches. Wachezaji wetu wameendelea kufurahia mchezo. Tunaofurahia kwa maana si lazima upate mechi zote uh, kama bwana Kemboi hapa. Uh, Tunamwambia ameshinda. Tuko hapa na ile ili kuhakikisha kwamba ni kaende kaende. Yaani there must be a winner kila wiki atakama utapata zote. Ule atakuwa na za juu kabisa ndiye atakuwa mshindi wa hiyo wiki. Mchezo unaendelea kupata umaarufu, tuendelee kucheza. Pengine uh, maybe cash prize yaweza ongezeka. Reporting for Heart 96. My name is Dama Muthui. Thank you, Dama. And uh, by exactly 4 p.m., Jentrix Odor will be bringing you a report on malaria a breakfast that is filed by Hilary Muthoni. You are up to date. You can follow us on Twitter at hot underscore 96 Kenya for real time updates. My name is Haman Kamariki. Good afternoon. See you again tomorrow. The Hot 96 News.